Hello fellow, fellow Vikings and welcome back to another episode of Rise of the Republic Rome 2 where we are carrying on our Syracuse Let's Play as the Syracusans. So where we left off last episode, we'll jump straight into it, was we had just taken Motya from Carthage and our allies had taken Panormus from Carthage as well. So we, we left off in a good position, in a very good position actually. Um, yeah, so, basically what we left off with was where to go next. Now, our two options are obviously to strike southeast, southwest into Carthage, but I'm not thinking Carthage will be that easy to take, and I don't really feel like I can do that yet with this island not secure, because I've only got one army right now and I can't really afford another one. So basically what I'm thinking of doing... Because I don't want to be steamrolled if I did set sail and these allies lost to these guys. So what I am thinking of doing is actually securing Sicily and making an alliance, making a military alliance with Panormus so we can as quick as possible get rid of Argyrion. Now the problem with that is I don't want to, I don't want this fleet to come in and take my land so I am going to leave a fleet here and build it up a little bit more but yeah that's our next move so sit back relax and let's go into the episode right so we're going to try and get the we got a defensive alliance with Archagoras which we are very good terms with so let's see if we can get a military alliance welcome welcome in a spirit of Olympian money. hospitality, I welcome you money. and will listen with care. Nah. I'm willing to spend a bit here because I do want the uh, agreement, the alliance. While your rhetoric is I don't sound, really want to spend any more than the that. I'll, I'll, see, I'll, I'll go one more higher than that. And I really wish they'd, they'd have added in a little agree. feature for the money here. So we can type in element, but they haven't. So, tough. Pretty pointless bringing it out, wouldn't it? Right. Okay, we're going to go to 1,560. Hopefully they'll accept it. No, they haven't. No. No. Right, so... This is under a defensive alliance with Arcagra, so that province is basically secure. This province is basically secure. Hmm... Where to go, where to go. Okay, well let's end the turn and let's just see what what's skedaddling. Let's go and give him that. So I want to get to campaign that movement range. I will also be given history like bits of history because I I'm a huge history buff. So any bit of history that I can give I'll give just to a immerse you a little further which will be found out chaos we all sprang and, and they have attacked us you will return <laughs> uh, yeah I'll my allies. right this is winnable if we play it good we have to block off them and get the slingers in Let's head straight into the battle. I hope it don't all fall apart now because turn. So I hope I don't just... <laughs> I hope this don't end up as a bad turn. And one more thing guys is that I will be releasing videos talking about other Total Wars when they do get released. You know like um, the, uh, what's it called now, Three Kingdoms, I can't wait for that to come out. So I will be releasing videos 
helpful. Other, um, I mean, let's put these here. But we'll be releasing videos for other Total War games when that we hear news about them to talk a bit about it. Right, spear wall. Spear wall. Light hot plates can't go into spear wall, so we'll leave these in a straight line then. But let's swap the let's swap one around. Put one here. Yeah, just so we got a spear wall on each flank, each side. Sorry. Let's do that. Let's leave our slingers here, and let's start the battle. Speed up so we get a bit closer. Our general is under attack. Pull these back. This I might have might fall to fast forward this battle a little because it's gonna be quite a lot of um simon. It's gonna be quite a lot of hoplite warfare, so a bit slow. But really I want these to come forward so I can get them with my slingers, which they have now, so we'll fast forward just to get a few of those. Get as many of these things, and then what I'm going to try and do is go around the back of them. Right, one slinger unit down. Let's get up some nice slow slingers to the faces. This is a tactic I usually use, hopefully, it pays off. If you block up one end of a tan, use the slingers, and then circle back around. I need to do this as quick as possible because I don't want to lose some men. And let's have these ones. The men are wavering. Oh, they're broken through, so we're going to need to pull back. Trying to take out their leader so we can get some of the in here. Slingers are really powerful units in this game. I would I would advise you to choose them above any other unit really. And they're good against heavy armor. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. See if we can get around the court sides with these. No, what we want to do is probably take out these first. General units holding good up here. Well, let's actually go and attack them anyway. Take the guard mode. This is a shameful display. Back up. And we'll go here. Start slinging the slinger. Come on. Yep, we should win this. Jesus Christ, I thought that was going to end up bad. So let's kill as many as we can. Let's put this on fast motion. So, guys, I won't usually um, speed up battles, but where that's just going to be a straight line being held by hot plates, I thought it was worth it just so we can get a bit more of the campaign out of the way. Otherwise, that would have been a long battle. Look, that would have been eight minutes of just standing still, throwing slingers. But with the interesting battles where flanking is, I will actually play them, obviously. Because I don't like fast forwarding them. Um, but for those pre-style battles, that's what I'll do, because it, it's just a waste of time, really. And we have no horses now, so we'll end the battle next one reaching more. So, good defence, guys, good defence. Defence, I say that, and then another bloody army. Units are good. Like 151, 153, 141, 41. They are really super good. And I'd advise them above jab. I found jab. I always got a bunch yet because you need to get. Rid of Taking the slaves. And I'll, I'm not going to create another army because, like I said, I don't really have the funds to do so. 
So I will just defend with my garrison forces, no, with my other army. Keep my fleet here. I need to defend it because there's nothing, nothing there's no garrison force right now, and as that as an enemy fleet. So I am gonna leave that there. I can't even build one yet. Damn. How would a battle appear? Yeah, not good. I'm gonna have to wait a couple turns then, guys, because I can't, um, can't leave without no, without any backup. So I'm hoping they don't amass another army. And I'm hoping these allies get a move on and start taking some land. Um, anything else to do? Leontini was one just attacked. They should regenerate. But I am going to upgrade it because that is the first one in the line. That is going to be attacked. So, yeah, feeding it requires a quarter and large scout. So, we'll do that. It gives us food and growth, which is actually a really good building. Because these buildings actually, as it says here, they give you food in adjacent provinces, which I think is awesome. Right. Let's start moving our scat. need to know what's going on down here and I'll if I could I would make peace with Carthage because I don't really want to be focusing on them as well and I need to take out that I place have as a fine as collection of you can always come to these afterwards would you like to see it no they won't accept it yeah and one of the main reasons guys was look at the power bar here if I attack Carthage I think I'd get ruined so I'm gonna not do that <laughs> yeah Right, so let's. Anything else we can do this turn? Elmia. Let's end the turn there. Field has been constructed. Leave this here for one more turn and then we'll get this back, which will be handy against the fleet. Let's send our scout through. I'm hoping I don't need to move them out. No, not, they don't seem that strong right now, and another attack we could hold off. Yeah, we could hold off that. Nah, I don't know actually. Yeah, well, I think we could if we. It's hard. Um, we'll do one more turn, and then we're gonna have to move no matter what because we can't stay there. Not with them building up a sizable force standing in the. Oh, they're going off. That is exactly perfect for what we need. Thank God. Just hoping I don't get attacked again, and I am gonna get attacked again. We'll just sim that one. Yeah, I'll probably do better than I thought I was gonna play it. Um, yeah, uh, enslaved, we need the wealth. Alright, where are we? Inspired Populous. Add apes in tax rate at 6 growth per turn, that's good. We, I am going to need to build another army soon though, I can't just rely on this one. But I am going to try and go as far as I can with one fleet, one army, currently. Let's go and build three more ships. And we need to see if we can. Nah, uh, it's not good enough. Let's actually just army um, sabotage and stop this from seeing if we can move them. Good, good, good. Right. Now that we've done that, yeah, see, now we've got our garrison, which is amazing. 
We're going to need to quite move quick here though, so let's go. Anyone else want anything to do with me? Any non-aggressions in the trade would be much appreciated. We surely have much to dis How about non-aggression? The trireme must have but one steersman. Listen, mate. We must well, I'm not too worried about that right now, guys, because we should be able to take care of this before we actually get that far up. So... What should we do? do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll end the turn there, there's not much more to do this turn. So if I sound a bit weird, I've got a bit of a sore throat. <laughs> What I do eventually want to do is strike up into mainland early. The most likely from sea because there is a lot of factions to get through. And Festival Festival offered offer Greek women the opportunity to praise the fertility goddess Demeter and grieve for the time she left Olympus in search of her kidnapped daughter Persephone. Abducted to the underworld and fed pomegranate seeds by Hades, Persephone was compelled to return there for several months of each year, giving rise to barren seasons of winter. Only women could attend Thessalonica. Any man who approached paid a heavy price, and all those celebrants would attend today would degree when will. And well, I ain't nothing about them getting seats in Thessalonica to amuse and delight them at the world. Women held insults at one another. Finally, the rotten remains of piglets, which had been placed in pits before the festival, retrieved and mixed with grain. These are planted in soil to bring life from death and ensure a bountiful harvest. Piglet remains sand rancid. But we do get 25 wealth from agriculture and 4% public order for a public order return. We agree with you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, so we have got those free ships, which is... Nave, like I said, Nave is going to play a big part. We're just going to keep building up this fleet. That'll probably be enough, actually, for that turn. Construction. It's been built there, so we have even got a stronger force there. In fact, this is what we're going to want to do. We're just going to want to... So what we're going to do, we're going to want to kind of build up these settlements, so, because we're not, we're not going to have another army straight away, we're going to want to build up these settlements to have as much garrison force as possible. And, do, 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 do. do I need to build up, now that's on the coast, but then I don't want it to get attacked. So yeah, we'll do that, okay. But what do we want? Farming... Market. We'll have a farming settlement because we're going to build a farm here. And we'll. New milestones will yield us a record. I'm always going to want about a thousand gold left because I don't want to ever run out. Because in case I need to build a. a um, in case I ever need to build a. a mercenary unit from somewhere. So where are we? With our new. What research did we just complete? Embrace tyranny. I'm trying to see whether it's do any more on the civil or go back to thingy. Growth per turn, that's going to be important. Temple medicine, some places make a man feel better, yeah. Growth is going to be important, so we're going to want to build as much as we can with Syracuse. Let's keep getting her upgraded. We can. And she can. Let's go. That's where we want to get to. So let's go on. The route has been scouted. All you have to do is follow me. Coordinator. So she's building up nicely. And we're going to carry on with... We're going to carry on going with him. Question is, where to attack first? 
Think we'll attack Kelfaladion. <laughs> I said that right, probably butchered that. Kefaloidion. And then we'll go down from there to Agrion and then to Catan. Right now, I believe we can hold them. Uh, so, where are we? These are minus 15 and we're only protected for another 10 turns. If needs be, we'll pay them off. But let's keep going because they don't hate me for anything other than a difficulty level. So, yeah, let's carry on going. And they'll like me if too low if every promise that brings more than 5,000 wealth. But that is well hard to do. But yeah, let's end the turn. Powerful ally in Arcagoras. We'll need them. They've been really extra important so far. Draco, a child is born. Oh yeah, the new family tree. This I love the family tree. I get so excited. Most Joyce knows a healthy child is born a future pillar of the family and the people. Draco and our little, I imagine it looks like a boy, yeah. <laughs> um, let's use her again. We're going to use her as much as possible to upgrade her because we want to get to the poison. Was there ever any Kefalidion. Um. What to use? Uh, that's hard. Now, I know that they do use mercenaries, but that, and I won't be able to take it, I don't think, with just spearmen, so I will need them, but I don't want to go into debt. But I might have to for a turn or two. Um, we can only get one for now. Let's hire it. We still have that. Besieging the settlement! Tough. We'll besiege it. And I don't know, I kind of think we can build another one next turn. No, we can, this, I don't know. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, let's take. Let's take a Greek Slingers out for now. Hire another one. Which is going to put in so much debt, but we only need him for the time being. And yeah, we're not going to be able to wait. We're going to have to attack straight away. Which is going to be tough. Um, and circle. Just check what the time is going. Right, yeah. So, we will end the part here then, guys. Um, I, I will obviously fight this battle, because I don't want to lose... Um, but yeah, we'll obviously fight this battle, and I am I'm so excited actually to get into this battle, but it has been about half hour in my power cord, which is running for cable. Um, so yeah, this turn will be the end. This will be the end of this turn, but you see we're going to fight Kefalidion next turn, at the very start of the turn, so that is a treat to look forward to, guys. Have your popcorn ready. Um... Yeah, so that's going to be the end of this turn. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Like I said, it really appreciates any views, any subscribers. It just means everything to me to get these views and um, subscribers. So, yeah, I've been the Vicious Viking, guys. Your yoll's finished. See you later.